third graders. I can't believe this is our last math lesson. Some of you are probably pretty happy about that. <laughs> but I just can't believe it. Oh my goodness. All right. Lesson 19.5, more perimeter. So hopefully you remember from yesterday that perimeter just means the distance around the outside of a shape. So we can find the perimeter of a figure by adding up all its sides. And um, another thing we're going to be able to do at the end of this lesson is we're going to be able to choose the appropriate tool and units of length to measure perimeter. So we need to know what would we need to measure perimeter and what kind of unit would we use depending on how big um, the object is that we're measuring. So in our example, we have a lovely yellow square here. We can see that one side of the square is six centimeters. So we automatically know that each side of the square is six centimeters, right guys? Because on a square, all four sides are always the same length. So in order to find the perimeter of this square, all we need to do is add up six plus six plus six plus six, or six times four, which is 24. So the perimeter of this lovely yellow square is 24 centimeters. Okay, so down here at the bottom, it says measure the sides of the rectangle in centimeters, find its perimeter. So normally you would be doing this yourself, but since we can't really do that, I went ahead and measured it um, with my centimeter ruler. Now remember when I'm measuring, I want to make sure I line the ruler up with the zero. So if there's no zero on the end of the ruler, then that means that that very end of the ruler is zero. So that's where you would want to line up your ruler. However, some rulers, remember we looked at these in class, they go in a little bit and you can see the zero. So on that little line where the zero is, is where you would want to line up your ruler when you're measuring something. So I measured this one and I found out that the long sides of this rectangle are seven centimeters and the shorter sides, the width, is two centimeters. So we would just add up seven plus seven plus two plus two, which would be 18 centimeters. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 18 centimeters. All right, so on our next page, we have this interesting looking pentagon. It's got five sides and they want to know the perimeter. So all we need to do, guys, is add up each side and they went ahead and measured it for us and told us what each little side was. So all we have to do is three plus three plus two plus three plus two, <laughs> which gives us a total of 13 inches. So the perimeter of this lovely pentagon is 13 inches. Okay, now we have a lovely rug down here. The width of a rug is 14 feet. So here's the width. Its length is twice its width. What is the perimeter of the rug? Ooh, I love problems like this. Okay, so we know that twice means times two, or that number plus itself, right? So the length would be 14 times two. So 14 times two is 28. So that tells us that the length of our rug is 28 feet. So then to find the perimeter, we would just add 28 plus 28 plus 14 plus 14. And I already know that 14 plus 14 is 28, so I just added 28 plus 28 plus 28, and I got 84. So the perimeter of this lovely rug is 84 feet. So hopefully you're starting to see that there are lots of strategies to find perimeter, but all it basically is is finding the distance around the outside of a shape. Okay, and then let's look at number four. It says four square tiles with 12 centimeter sides were used to cover the surface of a large square tile. What is the perimeter of the large square tile? So the first thing that we could do would be to find the length of one side of the large square tile. So we know if it's made up of two squares that are 12 centimeters on each side, and there's two on each side of the larger square, that would be 12 times two. That would tell us one side of our larger square here. So 12 times two is the same as 12 plus 12, so it's 24. So now I know that each side of my square is 24 centimeters. In order to find the perimeter, I could do this two ways. I could go 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus 24, or I could just do 24 times four. 
To me, that seems a little easier. So I'm just going to do my 4 times 4, which is 16. And then 4 times 2 is 8, plus one more is 9. So the perimeter of this large square tile is 96 centimeters. All right, we're going to try one more problem before we do our practice page. This one says the width of a rectangular field is 35 meters long. Its length is three times as long as its width. Ian ran around the field once. How far did he run? So we need to figure out how far did he go? So if we know that the length is three times the width, then the first thing we would want to do is figure out what that length is, right? Notice that's where our question mark is too, to help us remember that that's what we're trying to figure out first before we can figure out the whole distance around it. So we know the length is 35 times 3. Okay, so I wrote that down 35 times 3. We know 5 times 3 is 15. And then 3 times 3 is 9 plus one more is 10. So it looks like the side of our, or the length of our field is 105 meters. So now we know our length is 105 meters and we know our width is 35 meters. And remember, we've got four sides on this rectangle. So to figure out our perimeter, we would just add up 105 plus 105 plus 35 plus 35. And that gives us a total of 280 meters. So that was quite a distance for Ian to run around the outside of that field there. He ran a total of 280 meters. All right, last thing we're going to do is our Let's Practice page. And we're actually going to skip number one and two since they want us to measure the sides with a ruler. And it's just too hard to do this way. So we're just going to do three and four and we're going to call it good. So find the perimeter of each square. Remember what we know about a square. They gave us two of the sides, and we know that the opposite sides are always equal. Plus, it's a square, so all four sides are going to be equal. So all we have to do is 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, or the easier way to do that would be 7 times 4, which, of course, is 28. All right, so the perimeter of this lovely yellow square is 28 centimeters. And moving on to our bigger green square, we know that the sides on this one are 12 centimeters, so this time we could do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, or we could do 12 times 4. To me, that's a bit easier because I already know that 12 times 4 is 48. So the perimeter of our lovely green square is 48 centimeters. All right, guys, that is it for, well, chapter 19, and that's pretty much it for third grade math. <laughs> it's hard to believe. So yeah, your homework for this one is I'd love for you to measure some things around your house. Some perimeters, maybe measure the perimeter of your kitchen table or a window in your living room or just something that you find in your house that you can easily measure the perimeter of. And you can tell mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or a responsible sibling, or you could even email me and let me know some perimeters that you found. All right, guys, I guess that's it for now. And I hope to see your smiling faces next week when you pick up supplies. All right, I'll see you later, guys. Love ya. Bye.